Hey guys, Mike Chan here in Singapore. Everywhere you go in Singapore, you're gonna be able to find some amazing food. So right now, um, we're staying around Upper Thompson. There's actually so many great food places around here. I think the best parada place in all of Singapore is here. There's an amazing dessert place, and then this place, Beach Rolled Scissor Cut Curry Rice. One of the most famous curry rices here in Singapore. They got a location here as well. And this thing, oh my goodness. They completely filled my plate up. This is so good. And I got some pork belly, some eggs, cabbage, curry chicken. If you don't know what scissors cut rice is, it's called scissors cut rice. Not because the scissors are cutting the rice, but they're using the scissors to cut the ingredients, the big, bigger pieces of ingredients onto your rice. And I'm telling you guys, this is one of the most splendid things you can find in Singapore. The curry is absolutely scrumptious. So much flavor. There's the mushiness from the potatoes, the richness from the eggs. You could also get some cutlet for some crunch if you want. I prefer to go all rich. That's why I got the pork belly on top of this and just mix it all together so that the curry just completely engulfs every single grain of rice. The overall flavor is so deep and so rich from the meat to the curry to the veg to the egg. And this is honestly how I love to eat my food. I remember back when my family started the restaurant for lunch every day, pile of rice and pile of saucy food on top with gravy running every which way. Combine all that and down the hatch. And this is one of the best places to get this dish here in Singapore. And trust me, you'll know why from the first bite. I might need a second one of these. I'm not even kidding. Second plate. I forgot how good this stuff is. This time, um, I still got the curry chicken because I think that just made by the food gods. Got some green beans this time, some billets, this little anchovy fish, of course, all the rice covered in that amazing, amazing curry. Got a spoon this time. Mm. The addition of those little spicy fishies. I think it's even better this time around. This is one of my favorite things to eat here in Singapore. And speaking of Hawker stalls, I was just in the 7-Eleven getting a drink. They had a whole series of food in their ready to eat section sourced from local Hawker stalls in Singapore. A little full now, but I'll come back, get a bunch of them, and we'll go give it a try. And before getting to that, I just want to give a big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Incogni, which is a new tool brought to us by our friends at Surfshark. Like I mentioned before, every sponsor that makes it on my show, I make sure I try it out. I will make sure it's a product that I personally use and I personally love. And trying out Incogni, it scared me. And it's a tool I feel like you definitely should utilize. I mean, I'm sure we all try our best to be as private as we can whenever we're entering information about ourselves on websites or newsletters, promotions, anything. Maybe you use a different name, different email, but still a chunk of your private real information, like your name, address, phone number, they do surface on legitimate websites. And then what data aggregator sites do is they collect this information, assemble them into personal profiles, and then basically make money off them. For example, I was trying to book a flight on a third-party website that, that promises really low fares. As soon as I put my phone number in, my address in, I start getting emails maybe twice a day from all sorts of other websites trying to sell me cheap airplane tickets. Stuff like this happens every single day and it often happens without you knowing about it. But the good news is you have the right to request that these data brokers delete whatever information they have about you. But that takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of effort, and if you want to do it one by one, it could take a long, long time. So what Incogni does is that it does all this work for you automatically. They will reach out to these data brokers on your behalf, ask for your information to be removed, and then deal with any responses or objections that they may have. All you have to do just go to my link down below, sign up. The whole process took me maybe 30 seconds. Provide the personal information you want deleted. Authorize Incognito to reach out to data brokers on your behalf, and that's it. Like I mentioned, the part that scared me was when I signed up within minutes. There were over 100 data brokers that potentially had my information, and I never really heard of any of them. And again, this service is provided by our friends at Surfshark, so it is something I trust. So if you want to give it a try, go to my link down below. And the first 100 people to use the promo code Dumpling, you'll get 20% off Incognito. All right, I'm gonna go grab some dessert and um, I'll see you guys at 7-Eleven. Got this dessert. I'll put a link of the shop I got it from. It's right by the curry rice place. This might be the best brownie I've ever had in my life. This basically gave me an out-of-body experience. It's so good. It's sea salt gooey brownie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This 7-Eleven is a fairly small one by um, the subway station, but check this out. A lot of ready-to-eat meals, microwave meals, um, and these are really cool. These are called Hawker Fiestas. It says 12 best local brands, so these are all local Hawker-made ready-to-go foods. There's laksa. Oh, there's also 7-Eleven butter chicken biryani. 
All right, got a lot of good stuff. I'm, I'm so excited to see the hawker food item inside the local 7-Elevens. This is from Lao Chao Zhou Sha Cha Mi Fen. So sauteed beef rice noodles from a local hawker stall. Check out how amazing this looks. Right off the top, fried tofu, bits of chicken. I think this might be konjac jelly. Some greens, rice noodles, and just a lake of curry. Mix the curry into the rice noodles. Oh, this is getting all sorts of drenched. This curry smells so good. Oh, it just started to rain? This thing is gonna taste even more delicious now. Mm. Wow. Oh, this is so amazingly delicious. I don't remember this. Lao Chaozhou is the name of this hawker stall. Wow, this thing. This is just the epitome of Southeast flavor. Rice noodles delicious, still chewy. The curry is blowing my mind. Spicy, rich, creamy. You taste the coconut milk. You taste the chilies. All that great umami just conjugates on your tongue after your bite. It's still there like 20, 30 seconds later. And the curry just covers the rice noodles so well. The rice noodles. They have no place to go. They're just being submerged with all this flavor. Wow, look at the dry tofu too. Oh, that thing just soaked up so much of that great saute. Little bits of chicken in here as well. Oh my goodness. I mean, this thing is just peanutty, it's coconutty. It's everything I could have craved in a microwavable plate. I see a lot of curry sitting on the bottom of my plate. That's why I got an egg and cheese sandwich. 7-Eleven egg and cheese sandwich here in Singapore. Probably not gonna be as good as the one in Japan. It's not, but still delicious. Dunk this into that awesome, awesome curry. Mm, that's gonna be a great way to soak up every last drop of this. Wow. I am so, so happy with this right now. I don't know. This might be as good as it gets in a microwave meal. Right here. Next one, Legend Scissors Cut Curry Rice with Chicken Cutlet, Cabbage, and Egg. I think I've been here before. And while the next dish is cooking, Salted Egg Potato Chips from Urban's. I love salted egg everything. <laughs> this is so good. Salted egg, such an underutilized food ingredient. It just makes everything better. If you never had a salted egg before, Go to, go to your local Asian supermarket, take some home, cook it. All you gotta do is put it over plain rice. What would be some of the best rice you ever have? Oh, sprinkle some of that over my rice noodles. <laughs> this is my favorite part of a 7-Eleven video. Just mix and matching things. That's so good. Almost out of rice noodles. Start using my sandwich. Mm. Eating this while on the balcony. In the middle of a thunderstorm. Not as good as it gets. And chase it with a CNC. It's one of my favorite drinks I found here in Singapore. Freaking amazing. These prepared food items might just be the best prepared food items in all of 7 Eleven in the world because these are. Hawker recipes, and they taste like that. I mean, yeah, if I was at a hawker stall, this egg would be runny and the katsu would be crispy, but from a microwave meal, I get this. This curry is just amazingly spicy and flavorful. Drizzle that over the rice. Even that rice alone is so fragrant. Add some of that chicken. You definitely taste the secret sauce that's in this. It's not just another run-of-the-mill frozen meal. The magic that makes these dishes special definitely shines through, even though it's from a microwave. Mm, that egg is good. It's not fresh and runny, but it's still a good egg, especially that creamy yolk. I mean, I'm so glad to give you so much of this curry. The curry, of course, is really the essence of this dish. That ties everything together. Mm, this is one of the most comforting coziest meals I've ever had in my life. I'm literally eating hawker stall food on the comforts of my balcony during a thunderstorm in Singapore. If I didn't love going to hawker stall so much, I just do this every single day. 
This next one is not a hawker item. It's chu chang fen, so pork steamed rice rolls. And also there's sweet and sour sauce and it says some sort of white sesame sauce. I would say this is not bad. Pretty spicy, a little sweet. Rice noodles pretty good. Not bad. Like a seven and a half, eight out of 10. Something like that. Rice rolls got a nice chew. Oh, the chili's just started kicking in. Wow. That's really spicy, actually. Some good pork flavor, not bad at all. I wish there was more of this sauce, the actual meat and chili sauce, because right now the, the sweet sauce is kind of taking over because there's so much more of it. Mm, not a bad dish at all, overall. This one looks freaking amazing. So this is uh, from Chu Key. Singapore's first soy sauce chicken. And now you can microwave it. Inside a pretty big piece of chicken thigh, two braised quail eggs, and some chilies. Let's taste the chicken here. All right, the chicken's dry. Flavor is really good. You can taste a little bit of sweetness, the star anise, the herbs. The chicken has tons of umami flavor because this thing has been marinated for a while. So each bite you take, the more you chew, more of that flavor comes through. But it definitely needs something. I'm, I'm such a moron. There's a hidden compartment in this dish. I just saw it, look at this. Tofu on the bottom. So I think what you do is dunk the noodles and the chicken into the tofu. I knew I was missing something. I'm not always the brightest person. Definitely dump all the chilies in there. So a couple pieces of marinated tofu in here. So all in all, this is a hefty portion of food. <laughs> the tofu I like. Tender, soft, really good flavor. The chicken, still dry. Yeah, this one. I think it's just okay. I'm so excited for this next one. Terry Katon Laksa is one of the most popular laksa places in Singapore. That looks so pretty. But it smells so good. Eggs, dry tofu, noodles, and a delightful looking broth. So awesome. So good. Wow. Mm. I wish we had something like this in the US in the frozen food aisle. That really should be a thing. Frozen Singapore hawker food in the US. Can you imagine if you can buy something just delicious instead of a shop right where a Kroger. I mean, it's good for the hawker stalls, it's good for Singapore, it's definitely good for people in the US. I can't even do this justice by telling you how good it is in words. I mean, the subtly sweet coconut milk, the chewy rice noodles, and that rich, rich, I mean, apartment overlooking Central Park kind of rich, or I'm sorry, I'm in Singapore now. Apartment on Orchard Road kind of rich broth just provides an exquisite experience when it goes inside your mouth. It's spicy, it's so fragrant, I and mean, even after, it's gone down the hatch. It still leaves that amazing fragrance behind. Laksa is one of my all-time favorite things to get here in Singapore. And this dish is so good here in Southeast Asia. Even this, the frozen one, it's a food experience on its own. Almost done with this, and already I wish I had another one. This is also something I'm really excited about. This is a buttered chicken with fragrant rice. Woo! As soon as I open the plastic wrap, you smell that fragrance. There's a lot of rice here, and here is the buttered chicken. The rice is delicious, so fragrant, and that wonderful aroma just releases more and more as you chew. And then cover that with the curry. The rice becomes even more flavorful, obviously. Mm. And the curry itself, not very spicy, very mild, but oh, so rich and thick. It perfectly binds all the grains of rice together. So about 250 US dollars, you get some amazing butter chicken. This is such a good deal. I mean, this is a 7-Eleven brand food item here in Singapore. And this is something that if you pop this into the microwave and then put it onto a regular place served it to me in a restaurant, I wouldn't question it. The chicken it is too tender. It shouldn't be this tender, but it is this tender. Mm. Such an inexpensive, amazing meal. I'm waiting for the next thing to come out of the microwave. Check this out. Mala hot pot flavored chips. This tastes exactly like a mala hot pot. This is delicious. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> I should have sprinkled some of this on my butter chicken curry. Too bad I finished it. Give it more of a crunch, some added spice and numminess. Amazing. Oh, one last chip that I bought. This is from Laced Highland. 
and these are ghost pepper chips. Lay's ghost, Lay's ghost pepper chips. Wow, just dropping them all over the place. This is actually my third bag already. I love this so, so much. So much. When I first started eating this, I take a couple bites. You don't think it's spicy. You're like, ah, ghost pepper, really? This ain't nothing. But then like two, three chips in, your tongue starts feeling like it's just been stabbed. This is one of the perfect examples I give you guys where I say it's a punishing heat or something hurts, but it's so good that you keep wanting it to hurt. So every time I open a bag of this, I gotta finish it. It's so freaking painfully addictive. Probably the best chips I found here in Singapore so far. No so I'm gonna take like 20 bags of this home. Oh, anyway, I finished all my ready to eat meals. The Hawker meals, absolutely mind blowing. I wish we could get those in the US. I think so many people would love trying them out. I also got a bunch of instant noodles, but I started a day around early afternoon and now it's super cloudy and kind of getting darker and I'm full. So uh, I'm gonna hit the gym and then we'll have the rest of that either later tonight or for breakfast tomorrow. See you in a bit. Good morning. Just getting to the instant noodles I didn't get to try yesterday. Also, I, I left this out. This, this is a cheeseburger I got. I figured this go pretty well with the noodles. Very sesame -y, very cheesy. <clears throat> this thing tastes like exactly what it's supposed to. Like a $2 microwavable cheeseburger. Big patty, pickles, ketchup, cheese in here on a sesame bun. Ah, good. It's not bad. I'm really excited about this. Maggie instant noodle, tum yum flavor. Look at this thing. It's a tri noodle, which is my favorite. <laughs> oh my God. I feel my soul leaving my body with that bite. That's how spicy it is. Woo. I mean, I'm a big fan of spice. I can handle, I've handled the spiciest stuff in the world. This just knocked the air out of my lungs. Wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this spicy. Usually. Tum yum is spicy is not this spicy. These noodles are intense. These are probably the spiciest instant noodles I've had. That's not a, a challenge type spicy instant noodle. With that said, what I'm prepared for it is really good. It's very limey. Besides the spice, it's got a lot of flavor. I'm gonna put this egg into it. This is an instant egg. This might not look like the most appetizing of eggs. I really like this. All that great herby soy sauce flavor. You can see that it penetrated the outer egg whites into the yolk as well. A little sweet, very herby. Ah, oh, this goes perfect with this. Oh, where's my $2 burger? Oh, this burger. The burger is a live server. We're munching on noodles, this is spicy. It's really good though. I don't know if you can buy those in the US. If these are available, I get some. As much as I'm hurting right now, this is delicious. It has a spice meter on the side. Extra, let me find out what that means. Yeah, just like I thought, extra spicy. And this is definitely extra spicy. I don't know if I'll even be able to taste this. This is the hot and spicy 7-Eleven brand instant noodles. Yeah, this tastes, just, <laughs> this tastes like very mild to me. I'm sure it's pretty spicy in its own right, but it just tastes very mild, but the flavor is good. I think there's some mushroom inside, tofu. The broth is very, very good. I should have had this first before I burn a layer of my tongue off. Last instant noodle. I don't know if I even dare to try this now. Spicy Gordon Hotheads. This is also from Maggie. Up for the challenge. Stimulate your senses with our mouth-watering recipe of hot chilies, fragrant spices. Guaranteed to leave you sizzling. Let's try it. All right, this one looks way less intimidating. Other one, like I said, I think is the spiciest instant noodle I've ever had in my life. I mean, those spicy fire noodles from Korea has got nothing on that. This one, it's like child's play compared to the other one. You can taste the chicken flavor, you can taste the basil. I like it. And I really like the dry version of these Maggi noodles as well. I think that's it. I think that's everything I got from 7-Eleven. I don't think last time I tried as many of the hawker items as I did this time, or maybe last time there wasn't as many. I'm so happy to see all those items included in the 7-Eleven. The vast majority of them taste amazing. So if you're ever in Singapore, you don't want to go out and face the heat, you don't want to go to a hawker center yourself, 
I mean, I recommend that you do, but some days if you don't feel like you want to, go to your local 7-Eleven and get a microwavable hawker meal. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.